Hey there. How's everybody doing? Well, I'm back. Hmm. I wonder what I'm testing out here. I wonder what that would be. Hmm. Well, let's take you to it. Yes, I got one of those. And I kind of shut this one down. Um, I've been wanting to see how this would work out for me and uh, well to be honest with you I like these a lot better um, I haven't done the BMS on this system yet I kind of got the top of it a little bit I got some items on top of there I haven't done the BMS yet because the day after I done the last video as I said in my last message about Christmas I had a health scare or whatever I don't know what caused it or anything but I ended up with uh, an extremely bad nosebleed in which I ended up going to the ER emergency room probably I know for a fact it was three times four times to get it uh, resolved and ended up uh, having having to go to an ENT specialist because uh, they had this big thing up in my nose called a nose rocket to keep it from bleeding. And then I had to go see an ENT to have two spots in my right nostril cauterized. Uh, it could have been anything, dry air or anything like that. You know, just um, no, none of the big you know c word everybody's going around with with this new variant whatever none of that going on uh just dry air because our humid you know it had been dry at the time and lost an awful lot of blood and it just made me really tired and didn't feel well but in the meantime i ended up getting this uh in the mail and uh I'm really liking the algorithm on it. It actually, uh, the one thing that they don't tell you about the Victron Energy charge controllers is is the higher voltage that they can charge at. Uh, surprisingly enough, I can jack this clear up to almost 34 volts. I believe is the max charging you can go to. And you're going to ask me, why do I need a higher voltage for charging batteries well it's because I'm using the lithium-ion inside this which is an 8s configuration which the max charging on that is 33.6 volt so that's the top end you know where your cells get the 4.2 volt blah 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 but I'm going to be limited in limiting those down to about 4.1 to 4.2 four point you know four point one zero to four point one five I'm not going to go to a maximum four point two volt charge because of the you know you don't want to wear out the lithium too much I guess the top five percent you you not from what I understand the top five percent you know people like to keep it around ninety five percent charged that way they last longer so um which is okay by me because this system here uh, the, the three packs I got in there probably are running around 6 kilowatts hour yeah, 6 kilowatt hour worth of storage maybe more because of some recent uh, uh, discharge uh, things I've seen, you know, over time being able to run uh, the length of time I've been able to. Um, I mean, you can see the ability on these charts here. You can see right there, there there's a 3.05 kilowatt hour day. And right now, you know, it's at 30.96. I'm not bringing in much because it's that time of day. And it's not, you know, even... Even uh, the big solar system, yeah, I'm using power, but I'm not bringing in hardly anything today because of it. 
Um, but the amount of power that I can accumulate on these is just crazy. I, you can see here where I have what I brought in on certain days. Which, you know, the max, the maximum right there, you can see 631 on one day. And this is around my maximum power. Uh, w remarkably, I've got 640 watts worth of panels, two panels actually, two 320 watt panels on this system. And I'm seeing charging power like that, which is absolutely great. Um, I found out that the MPP tracking algorithm they have on this is super quick. Um, it doesn't bottom out pretty much like the EP Evers do. The EP Ever down here, what it would do, it would get to 80 volt. And what would be funny is a, a cloud would come over and it would drop down. Then it would be stuck at 40 volt and it would just stay there and it wouldn't pick back up it almost take it a half hour to pick back up well this is a hundred volt input max on that and it's a 30 amp charge controller is the same as this one but this is a much smaller footprint but yeah the ability to be able to charge at higher voltages is a big plus with these and being able to program them through bluetooth and don't you know you don't have to have a whole bunch of happy jazz with it anything like that um, to give a comparison i've been trying to figure that one out well here here's you here you go a lot of people don't realize here here yeah this stick two packs of cigarettes like that right beside each other and that's about how big it is yes i smoke i'm sorry <sighs> or you can compare it to this brawn light from yeah you can that's a comparable size it's actually some uh, footprint wise it's smaller but you know it's thicker of course now i haven't set the bms yet i haven't set it up yet and there's a reason why uh i want to get i have one of these breakers down here like this 32 amp that's a little bit too much coming in for the solar panel. It needs to be a 10 amp, but I'm going to use that 32 amp breaker on the output side of this. So I got to order up another breaker in order to do that. So uh, I'm going to be ordering a 10 amp breaker for the solar input side. And I've already got a 32 amp there, which I showed you. And I think uh, once I get that in, I'm going to get the BMS in and get it started. And I need to clean up this whatever you want to call it down here. Wire mess. Because I want that to be a little bit more neater. Considering the fact that, you know, what we have going on here is a lot neater. And straightened up. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know. We did, we, we switched out of control switched over to a different controller for this this works much better uh, i think it's better efficiency uh, the mpp tracking on them are great the footprint on them are great uh, the small size is absolutely a plus in my opinion lightweight and they're not bulky at all to deal with uh, easy to wire and easy to connect up to your bluetooth to your phone or to any Android or Apple device that you got that will work with it. So yeah, those charge controllers here, uh, in my opinion, great small charge controller. What they would be like on a bigger system, you know, the bigger Victron charge controllers compared to the Midnight's, no clue. I, I looked into them. The money for those are just absolutely crazy amounts now unless someone wants to donate one and send me one i'm not going to buy it because it's just ridiculous and I, I like this little 30 amp charge controller just the way it is so anyway yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on there um 
and let you know that yeah my nose bleed that was the issue it wasn't a big health scare and to let you know hey I'm fine nothing's going on bad it was just bad things were happening and didn't like it uh, but anyway I want you to uh, take care you know and click like and subscribe down there you know hit your bell notifications if you want and let's try to get me to a thousand subscribers this year and just maybe just maybe if I get to a thousand subscribers we'll do a giveaway giveaway is something I have no clue yet but I'll figure something out and it'll deal with solar stuff or some little solar gadget or some little battery tester or some little power inverter or some some little circuit thing or or, or just something to do with solar. We'll, we'll, we'll just say that much. It might be an LED light. Who knows? It might be one of those. It might be might be something like this. We don't know. Uh, it might be a charge controller. Who knows? It just depends on what my mind thinks of or what happens to happen at that time. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully we can bring in the new year. And not have a bad year like it's been the past couple years. And stay healthy, everyone.